What's up, y'all? B Dub is back for another anime review, and today's anime is gonna be. B Dub, the anime master. 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 Dragon Ball Z, the anime master. Here we go, the anime master. Dragon Ball Z, the anime master. Here we go, the anime master. Here is the Tiger and Bunny Blu-ray box sets from Viz Media containing episodes 1 to 12 for box set 1 and episodes 13 to 25 for box set 2. They come in two basic standard Blu-ray Amaray cases and now I'm going to, you know, open up the cases and etc. But, but uh, before I do that, uh, here is a uh, Blu-ray case 1. Pretty awesome, pretty nice artwork, you know what I'm saying? And we also have, you know, the side here, pretty decent Tiger and Bunny 1. Part one. Here is the back. Nice collage of characters and scenes and etc. Uh, you know, information and all that good stuff. We open it up. We have two very nice Blu-ray disc art for disc one and disc two. And now we're going to move on to Tiger and Bunny uh, box set two. Pretty nice artwork here. Pretty epic. Pretty beast. Yeah, Tiger and Bunny for the win. Here is the side and the back with the information and we're going to open up the uh, box set and we're going to find two more amazing blu-ray disc art for tiger and bunny part two the entire series on two blu-rays episodes one to 25 tiger and bunny so let's move on with the uh, next segment of this anime review blu-ray special features and audio options Special features include The Making of Tiger and Bunny Part 1 Production Art Special Logo Art Japanese Trailers Clean Opening and Clean Ending Special Features for Part 2 Masakazu Katsuda Illustration Gallery Tamura and Katsuda Exclusive Interview Production Art Clean Opening and Clean Endings DTS HD Master Audio 2.0 English DTS HD Master Audio 2.0 Japanese with English subtitles So the main synopsis for Tiger and Bunny Superheroes, villains and epic awesome adventures and fights and characters This anime series in my opinion was pretty damn awesome So Tiger and Bunny it takes place in this fictional New York kind of world. I think it's kind of New Yorkish, um, or a mix of Manhattan and maybe Las Vegas, maybe a little bit of California. This fictional world takes place in this weird uh, time angle called NC uh, 1979, which is kind of strange. But anyway, um, anyway, in this world, it's called Stern Build, and in Stern, we have these superheroes, these next. And these next have special abilities. And our first main character is Kotetsu Kabaraki. This guy is one of the most funniest main characters I have seen in these styles of superhero animes. I mean, the character, in my opinion, you know, is so down to earth and awesome. You know, it is just crazy. Anyway, Kotetsu is a superhero. And there's other superheroes as well where they pretty much team up and fight crime across the city and they get special points because they are also being filmed by this uh, tv crew and etc reality show called hero tv live where they record the heroes you know fighting crime and catching the bad guys so if they catch a specific bad guy they get points and you know they points rank up for you know who's the best hero after all the time and, and etc and of course, you know, Wild Tiger, that's, his, that's uh, Kotetsu's uh, superhero name, Wild Tiger. He's pretty much, uh, you know, basic superhero. His power is pretty awesome. It's called the 100 power, where he can, like, power up for, you know, five minutes. You know, he has super strength, um, and he's pretty much, un, you know, touchable just for those five minutes. It's pretty hilarious. But anyway, we move on to... So then we move on to the next main character, Barnaby Brooks Jr., a.k.a. Bunny which uh, Kotetsu gives, you know, Barnaby his nickname, Bunny. Anyway, 
Another great thing about this anime series is that they also have these epic suits that they use to, you know, enhance their, you know, fighting style and etc. and help fight the bad guys and not really get damaged too much by fire and bullets. Barnaby's character, he was pretty much like this cool, suave guy. He knows exactly what he wants, he knows what he's doing. But he also has an agenda as well. Not a bad agenda, but a good agenda. He pretty much joined up the superhero team to pretty much find, um, you know, who was the killer of his parents because he is adopted and etc. Very interesting story. I thought that was great. I like how each next and the superhero crew had their own personalities and abilities, you know, like Rock Bison and, um, you know, uh, Nathan Seymour, aka Fire Emblem. His character was hilarious. Uh, I really liked uh, Blue Rose. And her, you know, abilities or her, um, her, uh, what you call it, ice abilities, and the fact that she wants to be a singer and etc. The villains in this series was fucking awesome as hell. The fight scenes, the animation quality, even the CG moments was pretty damn good. Pretty much, this anime is about these next, these superheroes with abilities and trying their best to, you know, live normal, but also help people out with their abilities and etc. Uh, Kotetsu's character development was amazing, Barnaby's was great, and overall it was just a really damn good anime. Superheroes, powers, I really like the fact that they monetize the superhero TV thing. It's pretty much like the superheroes, they get their points, they have sponsors who sponsor them. Why do they get their points fighting the bad guys, looking good on TV, looking bad like, like you know, Kotetsu. It was a very creative way to do superheroes. And an anime series, in my opinion, it was just great. The friendship between uh, Wild Tiger and, and and Bunny, aka uh, Kotetsu and Barnaby, was great. I loved how at first they didn't really like each other, but as time went on, they kind of you know became friends, kind of bonded more, and they had a couple riff raffs, you know, in between that as well. I love when animes do that with characters; they have like great character build and then great character development and then you know the situations come up where it's like you know friendship is tested and maybe someone has a different agenda or a miss you know communication or whatever it is just fantastic tiger and bunny's writing was just gold in my opinion the antagonist for the anime series you know uh yuri petrov aka lunatic he was awesome he was a vigilante next who can generate blue and green flames like more powerful than Fire Emblem. And man, he, he, he had control over that shit. He was a boss. So overall, I really enjoyed this anime series. Go check out Tiger and Bunny right now. Not to mention the English dub was amazing as well. I just really love the dub. Pros and cons. Pros. Great animation, great characters, awesome music, and awesome character powers. Cons. Where is season two? Because there are a lot of unanswered questions and that's pretty much the only major con I have uh, for this anime series. I pretty much enjoyed the hell out of Tiger and Bunny. Video quality gets a nine out of 10. Great Blu-ray, 1080p HD, AVC codec transfer. The audio gets a nine out of 10. Pretty damn good DTS HD master audio for Japanese and the English dub. Overall, the box set quality gets a 8 out of 10, standard Blu-ray Amore cases, decent artwork, and that's pretty much it. I wish it came with a chipboard box to hold both volumes, but whatever. So, in conclusion, check out Tiger and Bunny on B-Dub the Anime Master. Peace. Dragon Ball Z, the Anime One Master. Piece. Here we go, the Anime Master. Dragon Ball Z, the Anime Master. Here we go, the Anime Master.